because I'm all in. Hey guys, it's Ashley the Mogul and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can just go ahead and move past all this, you know? And if you are welcoming, look, I always do that. If you are a returning subscriber, baby, you know the drill. Drink some water, hydrate yourself. Can't be a hot girl summer out here if y'all ain't drinking no water. Now, today we are doing something totally new. Totally new. Totally new. Before we get started, I have to tell you guys about the perfume that I'm wearing today because let me tell you something. I went on a date and, you know, I hopped in the car or whatever and we was on the way to the restaurant. And he was like, dang, you smell good. Like, you always smell good, but today you smell like good, good. And I was like, do I smell like cherries? And he was like, yeah. Let me tell you right now, baby. That's the A is the reason why, okay? That's the A is the reason why I'm out here smelling so good. Why Zeddy want to snatch me up because I smell so good. I feel like y'all are really close and I really want y'all to back up just a little bit like today I'm wearing oriental cherry love this scent because the cherry in it you can smell it you know sometimes you have to wait for the for the perfume to settle in before you can smell it on a different note but no baby when you spray this perfume and you wear it as soon as it hits your skin you smell a cherry okay the top notes are cherry almond and cinnamon pause cherry almond and cinnamon close your eyes and I just want you to imagine what cherries, almond, and cinnamon taste like all together. I definitely meant smell. Middle notes are cloves, rose, and jasmine, and plum. And the base notes are Peru balm, tonka bean, and vanilla. It smells amazing, okay? Now, there's something about having a perfume to me that is not so floral and not so powdery so i love fruity ambery type scents warm scents that you know when they hit the skin they just melt onto you and when your body starts to heat up you know you start to sweat a little bit the scent just just goes off into the air i also love walking past someone and they being able to smell me and then they come back like you smell good. Thank you, baby. Something you'll never forget, okay? The Oriental Cherry is inspired by the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Perfume, and it also has an 18% concentration. This one is also definitely at the top of my list from Dossier Perfumes. I would say, out of all of the Dossier Perfumes that I have, this one right here is definitely in my top three. Now I want to revisit my number one top perfume from Dossier. I want to revisit this perfume for you guys because look, look at it. I love this perfume so much. Like, the Ambry Saffron is inspired by the Baccarat Rouge uh, Mancia Francis perfume. I love this perfume so much that I ordered another one. Like, when I tell you, for one, it's unisex, okay? You know, it's not an overpowering feminine smell, okay? This is the type of perfume that I wear when I'm going to the barbershop, when I go to the bar, you know, like, I don't really wear this perfume when I go on dates or anything like that. For men, it picks up, and they're like, dang, that smells good. But on a date, I've had someone tell me that I smell like another man before. So, <laughs> that's the last thing that I want. But if I'm going out to a setting that's mostly men, I wear this perfume because it just gives off that. I wear this perfume all the time. I wear it all the time. So the top notes are saffron and orange blossom. Middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And the base notes are oak moss, fir balm, and amber. I tell y'all, this perfume is like that. It's like that, okay? And if you don't believe me, click the link in the description so you can get your own, okay? I've had girls purchase this and message me on Instagram or find me on Twitter or whatever and tell me that they purchased it. Y'all know I'm not going to steer you wrong, okay? I'm not going to steer you wrong. Get, get these perfumes, okay? I love this perfume so much. As you can see, I use this one the most, okay? Definitely use it the most. Ladies, it's hot girl summer. We outside. We outside! And you got to smell good. So take my advice and click the link in my description so you guys can shop Dossier. Thank me later. You can thank me in the comments. What Drake say? I think he said thank me later. But you can thank me in the comments. Now let's get into this hair video. So I finally bought the tattooed baby hairs. Yes, I bought them. I got them from New Baby on Instagram. I hope that's correct. 
and we're gonna try them because I personally haven't seen anybody use them with short hair like myself shout out to all my bald baddies out there um, I really just wanted to test them out and see you know if it's worth the hype so I know y'all are like Ashley you are not about to put these baby hairs on with a bald head I'm gonna be using one of my headband wigs from Erin Wigs I'm excited to see how this is gonna go okay so yep hold on to your seats girl <laughs> Cut. they came in like a paper envelope like this and it came with five sheets I believe I paid $25 for them and they came on five sheets just like this I can't remember the exact name of the style that I got so I'll put it on the screen once I find it for you guys and I cut mine like this so that I can you know see where I'm placing them this one goes on this side so that the little swoops oh my god Ashley do not mess this up <laughs> Oh my god, how am I supposed to see? how am I supposed to see this? So this little corner should go down here. Oh my goodness. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to cut this because because I have a haircut, my edges aren't here. I have a, a lineup back here. So I'm gonna have to cut this here I'm so scared so this will go here this one goes this one goes here this little tapered end I don't know that might work it might work guys so yeah we're gonna put it there like that so we're gonna peel it off I'm gonna use a clean makeup sponge and some water. Okay, maybe I should use a paper towel. Okay, I'm nervous. So I had to cut off this little swoop. I'm scared I'm gonna look crazy. Is this gonna touch my eyebrow? Okay. So we're just gonna take the water, paper towel, and press it. Oh my god, I'm doing it. It's literally just like doing a temporary tattoo when you were younger. Y'all know. And then I'm just gonna take this sponge. Okay. The reveal. I can see it starting to slide a little bit. Oh, sucky, sucky now. I feel like I did something wrong. We're gonna put this back up there and just like huh? rub it. Okay, but I feel like that's only like that because I actually have hair right there. <laughs> okay, so I actually have hair right here. But other than that, I think it looks fine. So we're just going to trim it. <laughs> I'm so weak right now. Like, Okay, so... <laughs> Now we're going to try the other side. I probably shouldn't have cut this little swoop off. Yeah, we're going to add this little swoop right here. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? We go, we, we, <laughs> we go try the other side. I'm glad it came with And this time we're not going to cut the little piece off, okay? And this time we're going to slide it up a little bit so that it's not on my hair. I didn't want it to touch my eyebrow. Okay. It's the white part that's killing me. This one actually looks a lot better than the other side though. Okay, so yeah. It's literally just because I have hair and it's not sticking to it. So let's see if we can like push this hair back and 
then okay yeah that works that works This side looks a lot better than this side. Yeah. So we gonna fix this side, okay? We gonna take this one off. I wonder if you use warm water, does it make a difference? Cause my water is definitely not warm. much better now I really just want to trim this okay so I just don't like that it's touching my eyebrows like it's literally touching my eyebrows but other than that I like them like to get rid of the shine I'm gonna take my makeup powder brush come back with my translucent powder So now I'm gonna put my wig on and we're gonna go from there. So because I don't have any hair this time, I need my wig to be super tight. So I put it on the clips in the back. Oh wow, this actually looks really good to me. Like I was supposed to get my hair cut tomorrow and I might not even do that. <gasps> because Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all. As far as it goes for a picture, these actually look really good. Now, I just have to figure out how to get this part right here to lay down. I really just pressed it down. So, I'm going to try one of the headbands over it. With the headband, it's finessable, okay? Like, with with this part, it's a little bit harder. Um, and you can definitely notice, but I would definitely just keep it like this. And I will honestly... The only way I could cover it is if I pull it over my ears like this. That is the only way. Wow, baby girl has definitely done something for the girls out here. Like, honey, new baby, I definitely rate a 10 out of 10, okay? 10 out of 10. It literally all, the, the way it turns out, it literally depends all on your hair and your skin. Now, because I have a shortcut, y'all, I'm telling you, if I snatch this wig off right now, I don't have no hair, okay? So, because I get haircuts and my hair is like short and prickly and growing out right here, it looks, you know, it ripples up right here a little bit. But honestly, it ain't nothing to me that a little heat. And honestly, I feel like if I tie it down like I do with regular edges, it'll, you know, lay down. But with me just body heat for my fingers and then my fingers being a little damp just pressing down on it, it looks great. Like, girl, they look great. Yes, they're a little shiny because, I mean, it's a temporary tattoo. Like, I really don't, I really hope y'all don't expect to get these and think they're going to look like 3D, you know, baby hairs. Now, would I wear it out to the club where there's flash photography? Let's see. The rest of them look good, though. It's just that little shine on, on the top. I don't know. Baby, let me tell you something. I definitely do not feel like I wasted my money. I definitely will be ordering new styles because it's giving. Like, I'm, I'm bald headed, okay? I don't have no hair, none, and it's giving, okay? 
you just gotta cover up right there where it shows the white part but that's only because I have hair let's make a couple FaceTime calls and see if anybody else notices Hello? what are you doing Working. I want to show you my hair Let's see. <laughs> oh god can you tell them my edges are fake what is that? How is that fake? It's a tattoo. What in the fuck is the world coming to? Yo, them shits look so real. I definitely recommend, honey, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Now, I will say as far as, you know, this is just me on my business person aspect. As far as packaging and stuff goes, I definitely feel like for the hype that she gets that it could be a little bit better. Um, it also could come with some directions. Even though I know temporary tattoos are common sense for most people, um, because of the where the application goes, it definitely could, you know, be elaborated on a little bit better. But other than that, kisses to the chef, okay? I look the fuck good, period. All right, guys. <laughs> See you. I came into the bloody bottoms is underneath. Cause I'm a guy, yeah. I keep a hundred rounds. I remember getting them all with a whole team. Now I know that's a call cause I'm